Welcome back to Christmas Cookie Week. It's day five and today's recipe is for all you chocolate lovers out there. We are making double chocolate crinkle cookies. This recipe is from sallysbakingaddiction.com. I will leave a link to the recipe below and it's delicious. To start off with this recipe, you will need a half a cup of unsalted butter softened to room temperature, half a cup of granulated sugar, a half a cup of packed brown sugar, one large egg at room temperature, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one cup of all-purpose flour, a half a cup plus two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, one cup of chocolate chips, I'm using regular sized semi-sweet chocolate chips, and then one cup of confectioner's sugar for rolling. To start this recipe off, you're going to throw your stick of butter into a bowl and you're gonna beat it on medium speed for about one minute. You're looking for your butter to be all broken up, you want it to be smooth and creamy, and then once you've gotten to that consistency, we will move on to the next step. So go ahead and beat your butter for about a minute. Next up, we're gonna throw our granulated sugar and brown sugar into this bowl, and we're gonna mix those things up with that hand mixer again on medium high speed until it's well incorporated. Now we're gonna crack in our egg and add our vanilla and then we're gonna mix that all together as well. We're gonna set that wet mixture aside and move on to dry ingredients. So in a separate bowl, we are going to add in our flour, our cocoa powder, our baking soda, and our salt, and then we're going to whisk those four ingredients together until they're well combined. Next up is combining the wet and dry ingredients. So you're gonna add a little bit of that flour mixture in and beat it all well together, and you're gonna add a little more and repeat the process until everything is completely incorporated. The last step for this cookie dough is to throw in your chocolate chips and you're just gonna go ahead and mix those with the mixer and make sure that they're very well incorporated into your dough as well. Once that's done, you're gonna cover the dough with some cling wrap and then put it in an airtight container. You're gonna want to have this dough chilling for at least three hours, but you can chill it for longer than that, like overnight, or even if you wanna make it in advance, you know, two or three days in advance, you could do that, but you need to make sure that the dough is chilled. It's way too sticky and too messy to use right away, and the cookies will turn out correctly if you chill it. So make sure that it gets chilled. Now, once you pull your chilled dough out of the refrigerator, make sure to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Once your oven is preheated, you can start rolling your dough out and rolling it in that confectioner's sugar. You really wanna use a one and a half tablespoon cookie scoop if you have one. I don't have one. I only have a one tablespoon and a two tablespoon. So I'm using two tablespoons right here, but the one and a half would really work better for this recipe. No matter, whatever you have works, you can just eyeball it as well. So you wanna get those really well coated in that confectioner's sugar before you throw them in the oven because part of the fun of these cookies is that they, they crinkle apart, which is why that's what they're called while they're in the oven and they just make these beautiful they almost look like little snow capped chocolate cookies <laughs> they're just wonderful so make sure you really get these cookies well coated in that confectioner sugar Now you're gonna throw the cookies in the oven for about eight or nine minutes. Because I used a larger size dough scoop than what was recommended for the recipe, I ended up adding a few more minutes onto mine, so mine maybe took maybe 12 minutes or something like that. But they're just so pretty. I love the way they turn out and they are insanely delicious. They taste almost like molten chocolate cake. 
especially when they're warm out of the oven. These would be so delicious with a scoop of vanilla ice cream or peppermint ice cream would be amazing with these cookies. They're really beautiful. They're something a little different that you don't see every day. You will love them. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for Christmas Cookie Week Day 6.